This week we are giving you a quick little video tutorial and walkthrough of Adobe Spark Video. To do that, um, we drop on the home page like we've done the last couple weeks in Adobe Spark and we create a project. So you click on Create Project, we are going to go down to Video. When you click on Video, it's going to walk you through a couple of screens. More often than not though, I just have everybody kind of skip this so if you want you can start your story here and you can give your story a title so we'll just call it movie I don't know click next and you can decide to choose a story template if you want to most often I just choose scratch but you've got the idea promotion um, telling what happened personal growth lesson journey um, and then the make up your own if you want but if you just hit start from scratch it brings you to a blank template and this is honestly where things really, I think, start to take off for you. You can watch the little video tutorial if you want to, but I'm going to walk you through this here, I hope, uh, in a pretty short manner. So you can see that on your slideshow, you have three slides immediately. These two slides here, one with credits, were created by Adobe Spark, and then your Adobe Spark page. These you can't, I don't think you can get rid of unless you, yeah, you can hide the credits if you want to. You can't delete them or you can just play from here. So you're given this template to start and you decide what you want. So you can see over here on the right hand side, you can have a full screen, split screen, a little caption or a title and text and just get started. You can drop in video, text, photos or an icon. If we just do a photo here and I'm going to do just find free photo and let's just type in the word movie great we're we got a good start you just click the button and you're all set you're off and running you can add um, some text opening credits you're all there you go that is your slide it'll give you some little tutorials throughout here click drag and drop your text to different alignment options so you can see here I can put it up in the corner if I want to uh, I can bring it down on the bottom uh, I can move it off to the side if I want to you decide where you want your information um, for this I'm just gonna leave it kinda right in the middle very simple then you see that your um, video is gonna take four seconds if you click on that you can make the time shorter or you can make the time longer your choice uh, I like what they have and have set up and then when you're recording the great part about Adobe Spark video is it allows you to just put your voice over the top of this video so you click on the microphone button these are the opening credits to my Adobe Spark movie. And you can hold it as long as you want. Um, and then it says here you can record again if you don't like it. So you can we'll listen. These are the opening credits to my Adobe Spark movie. So there you go. If you don't like it, you just click the button again. The opening credits to this Adobe Spark are happening now. We'll play. There you go. If you record over 10 seconds, Adobe Spark's going to kind of talk to you and be like, maybe you want to create another slide. They don't really want you to record your voice for more than 10 seconds. They would prefer you do multiple slides um, instead of having longer slides. It makes things go faster and um, a little bit more digestible. So anyway, so you if when you want to move or add another slide, you click the little plus down here in the corner and we're all set. So let's go to icon and again, I, movie is already in there so you can scroll through and find the icon that you like um, let's choose this one perfect and again I can um, take this I can add some text I can delete it um, I can't move this one around but I'm gonna add uh, we'll just change it to, to be some text instead movie reel and maybe let's go back and add um, a photo there here let's uh ooh, actually this would be awesome let's add some stormtroopers that's pretty sweet right you can edit your stormtroopers here so I can zoom in I can move them around right that's pretty good um, if I want to here maybe I'll edit my um, text on here you can make my text bigger stormtroopers great I'm gonna move my guys up some more Look at that. And then you can record. These are the real heroes of the Star Wars movies. And you're all set. If you don't like where things are located, you can just simply drag and move them around to get them in different places. You can see here in your credits, um, on your credit slide, it'll 
tell you exactly um, where the pictures came from and who we are giving credit to the pictures. And then the other really cool thing here about your Adobe Spark video is you can choose, like I showed you the layouts here, but you can choose your theme. You don't have a whole lot of choices for your theme, but you can um, choose any of these. So for example, if I go back to my credits screen, you'll see that it's because we have chosen title, if we choose mega, now we're going to get a green background. Um, and then from there, I can actually choose my color in the mega. So uh, maybe I want to do orange. And then it changes all of my font throughout my Adobe Spark video. So let's go here back to Stormtroopers. If I choose Sage, you see it's going to change all of my um, font for my Stormtroopers. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with the Mega. I kind of like the Mega Orange. That's pretty good. Um, you can resize from widescreen to square screen if you're going to um, export this to some social media. Um, and it should help. There you go. Now you get a different choice. Um, and again, you can when you're done with these, you can easily edit and change them any way that you want. And then finally, the last thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to put this back to widescreen, I kind of like that a little bit better, is you can add music to your presentation, or you can say no music. So uh, right now, it just defaults to the wandering guitar, but if you, if you play on these, you can get a little sense of how they sound. Um, and then if you find one that you like, let's go with... Let's just go with Clockwork Escape. That sounds good for Stormtroopers. Yeah, that's funny. I like that. That's good. You can turn the volume up and down if you don't want it to be too much. And then if you do have music on your device, you can easily add your music. And then here is where you turn the music on or off. So we've got this. Um, let's just add one more slide for good measure. We'll do the layout and let's do a split screen. Um, let's go over to this side. I'm going to add an icon for the movie. Um, and then let's pick this one. And actually, I'm going to change that out. Here we go. And then we're going to call this the director's chair. Just like that. Love it. Okay. So if we move this to the front. We're going to move this one all the way to the front here, and we're going to say, Welcome to the director's chair. And you're all set. So if my movie is all done, I can preview my movie. Welcome to the director's chair. The opening credits to this Adobe Spark are happening now. These are the real heroes of the Star Wars movies. And there you go. That is how easily and quickly you can create your Adobe Spark video. When you're ready to go, you can share it. So you can publish it here. Pick a category. We'll just call this education. You can turn on the author and the get notice if you want. And then you just simply create a link. And then the link gets generated. You can do whatever you want with that link. You can share the link back in an email. You can attach the link in Google Classroom. Um, you can email the link any way that you want. Uh, tweet it. Put it on Instagram. I mean, there's... You just have a link. So whatever you want to be able to do with a link, you can do with that link. And so it's great for students when they're creating content in the classroom. There's a quick and easy way for them to get this um, Adobe Spark video back to their teacher. So you just click copy and you're all done. You also do then um, have the option to download the video. So you just, it'll generate and it'll create a file and it'll download the video directly to your computer. And then you can do whatever you want with the video um, in that respect, whether you want to attach it back to Google Classroom or whether you want to post it on some social media or save it to your Google Drive. That is how simply and easily you can create an Adobe Spark video.